first cast on Fox River. There's the tap we were looking for. Yep. Well, welcome back everybody at Ten Bietas. A little bit of a different scenery today, as you can tell. Uh, I'm sitting on a boat. Yes, and I am joined by, of course, Brandon and the man, the myth, the legend, Cody S. What's going on, everybody? You guys, this is unbelievable. Our winter has been so extremely long, and it is still winter, yes, uh, especially in the northern parts. Tons of ice fishing, people driving trucks and vehicles still out on the ice. Bunch of that, but we've been fishing since Halloween, right? Halloween. Halloween, yeah, so we're done. We really don't want to ice fish anymore. We might, if you guys want to see like a late season like crappie or perch bite, uh, it is possible we could still go do that. But uh, with us being down here today on the Fox River, we're probably not going to want to do that. Sorry for all you ice fishermen. But are it we going to get it done? Oh yeah, we're going to get it done. It feels so good to be out here. Like winter felt like it was never going to end. And we're, I mean, we're still in winter, but finally got a warm stretch to come through. The fox is uh, looking dandy out here. There's a lot of boats, guys. Not uh, not like bumper boats, what we're used to, but for the time, there's enough boats out here. People are catching walleyes, and it's about time that we start landing some too. So we're gonna show you guys what we got rigged up today, what the plan is. Currently, Cody's driving us out to the spot. We're heading up towards the dam right now. A uh, good amount of ice uh, melted off last night, last couple days here. So we got a lot more stretch of the river that's gonna be open and fishable. So with that being said, Let's get right to it. Let's get into some fish. <sighs> Folks, I almost don't believe it. Time to take that first cast of the year. We're out here, we're up by the dam now. And I uh, just wanna go through and show you guys what we're gonna be using today. So, Cody the man here has got us hooked up with the Carbon X from Pissy Fun 2000 series. This is what's gonna be getting the job done today. Got that partnered with our new Freedom rods, first time using these rods, so we're pretty excited to test them out as well. We're gonna be hopefully getting hooked up. We've got the live scope up right now, and uh, man, there's a lot of fish in the area. Don't know how big they are, but there are a lot of fish. They're on the move. Found a tiny little hole that they're dipping down to, and uh, boats moving back and forth, and we're looking at the graphs right now, and there are definitely some fish down there. So, just running jigging a minnow right now. Uh, we might switch over to plastics later. Not sure exactly yet. There's a lot of snags here. Looks like Cody just found one. Yep, good job. <laughs> no, no, uh, far casting. no far casting. We want to be right on top of them. Looks like a couple guys just hooked up, so hopefully that'll be us here pretty quick. If you guys do want to check out any of Cody's stuff that he's putting out right now, you can check that out at Tidewe Outdoors uh, on YouTube. So check him out. He's got some good stuff. We've been out here for the last three, four years now fishing with Cody, and every time it's a blast. It's just awesome to be out here for the first time of the year. Something different than ice fishing. I can't believe it's real, but uh, let's go catch some fish. Woo! Put some gloves on, it's a little chilly, boys. All right, first cast on Fox River. Don't want anything too crazy. Brand new Freedom Rods, excited to try this out. Brand new Pissy Fun Reel. Again, it's the 2000 series. I'm excited to test this out today. Feels good already. Lightweight, extremely lightweight. Got her hooked up with braid right now. And a fluorocarbon leader. That's going to be the go-to. If you guys want to check out these reels, I definitely think you should. Right now, if you use our special, our code is NBEdits18 on Pissy Fun. All orders, you get 18% off. These rods are, these reels are only about 70, 80 bucks. And honestly, they compare to some 150, 200 reels that are on the market. And uh, just excited to get out and use it. Just waiting for that first tap. First one's probably gonna be a rock. I'm gonna set the hook, absolute lights out. A lot of rocks, a lot of stumps and stuff like that here in this body of water that you just gotta be careful for, but you never know. All it takes is one tap, that's all I'm waiting for. There's the tap we were looking for. That one? Yep. Sorry, I got that for Decent one. Not a giant. We're gonna have to go for the dirty boat flip. That's how we do it right there, boys. Oh, that's awesome. Whoo, look at that. Hey, I'm not gonna say nothing, but uh, 
first one again this year, boys. <laughs> now I gotta be quiet because uh, these guys always outproduce me, it seems like every year. But I managed to get that first one. Decent little walleye, probably right around that 15, 16 inch range or so. Just a little guy. All right, first one of the day. Woo, there she goes, jigging a minnow. That's all she needs. Woo, ready to start ripping some lips, boys. That's awesome, first one on the board. Grab another minnow, let's get another one. Feels like a decent one. It's not, no, it's not a giant, but. Even that? Yeah, the net that we don't have. I got the net. Got the net. I got him, Brandon. Woo! I got him. Let's go. I just wanted to touch a wall today, in case they don't catch one. <laughs> I appreciate your help, Nick. No problem. I'll even unhook it. Got it on plastic. Wow. Woo! Yes. All right, I'm just gonna set this down quick. Here's your prize. Look at that, guys. Beauty of a walleye. Stay pin. Stay pin. Yup. So, time of the day. look at where that jig is. This is the time of the look day. Look at where that jig is. So what happened is, this jig was sitting on the ground. Basically that walleye came up, pinned it to the ground, and I struck a little early and I got him before he actually got it in his mouth, so. That, uh, that is a nice fish though. It's been a little bit since I caught one, if you guys could tell and uh finally got another one put on the board this is my probably the biggest one i got all day it's probably 18 19 incher well guys midday update for you we are currently fishing a different spot than where we started as you can tell we switched and caught two fish brandon caught one on plastics as soon as we showed up and oh my god look at the screen right now we're jigging with live scope and look at this look at all of these walleyes so basically Cody and I were sitting up here and we're just casting away at these fish, casting into the current and we are picking them off but the bite is quite slow actually. Cody was saying because it's midday and then he just <laughs> catches one as soon as he says that. Uh, but the bite has been incredibly slow. The nice thing about live scope is you can tell the fish are here but the bad thing about live scope is you can see the fish are here and <laughs> when they're not biting it's very frustrating to see like i got two right under me right now and uh they're not they're not eating we've tried what we've tried blade baits we've tried plastics we've tried minnows so far minnows are what is producing most of our fish but it is a grind water temperature we got 36 so it is very very cold still there's ice chunks floating all over the place but it feels really good to have the long rod in hand again, casting open water, going for my favorite species ever is definitely the walleye. I know Brandon would probably agree. And uh, if you guys watch like any of our videos, we absolutely love our walleye. So this is the best time of the year. This is definitely just the start. Still got probably, I don't know, we're gonna try to catch a few more fish out here for you guys. Hopefully we can make something happen, but uh, just wanted to give you an update on what we're doing and how everything's going. Yeah, there's about three or four of them. There we go. God, I tell you what, you know, the live scope sure ain't something. Sure is something. No net, so I'm going to go ahead and boat flip this one. Uh, I thought I'd join the party today. Switch locations. Using. That's, that's good to just drop that like that. Switch locations and uh, caught myself first walleye. Go down here. You guys can see I got my Garmin Live Scope. Cody doesn't have his set up yet because he's not cool enough, I guess, from uh, taking it ice fishing. So I just have my shuttle here. And we're hanging a transducer off with the ram out. Saw a couple fish. 
go ahead and get a release on this guy. That didn't take long. See you, buddy. All right, got a few more fish on the screen. Get another minnow. We're gonna get back to it. I mean, just since we've been in this spot, we've probably seen easily 100 fish. Yeah. Just shows how non-active they are right now. There's one. There you go. This feels nice here. Literally left it on bottom and he just picked it right up. Really? Yep. Isn't that what you did with the last one? Yep. Oh, wow, that's actually... Feels like a nice fish. Oh, God, Cody's hooked up. Oh, yeah. Definitely the nicest one in the morning. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow. That's actually pretty nice. You got that? Or do you want me to land that? Or do you want me? I got the ride. You land her. Check me out, guys. Can't do anything out of my own. Helping Cody out. There you go. That's a nice fish. That's the biggest one of the day right there. That a boy. I currently can't do anything, but Cody is starting to figure something out. Back to back fish now. Ended up just catching the biggest one of the day. He's probably saw it on my GoPro. Oh yeah, nice fish there. Definitely the nicest one. Yeah, probably. You're just leaving it on the bottom. Probably 20, 20, 20 to 20, anywhere from 20 to 22 inches, I bet. Maybe pushing 23, it's kind of long. But first female. Yeah, first female. There's, she's definitely starting to pack on, uh, pack on some weight there. So we'll get some pictures and then get her put back in the water. But yeah, figuring out, figuring out a little bit of a program, um, kind of, really long pauses seem to be doing the trick right now at least for me so i don't know brand and i we still got to figure out what the heck we're doing but that's why we come down with cody because he's the man he always gets us on top of fish and uh, it's always a good time so we're gonna try that strategy hopefully we can pull another uh, nice fish we're definitely getting i mean just so many fish on the live scope right now so it's uh any cast could be could be a nice fish especially out here on the fox river so we're gonna keep on grinding well, if I check in here, what we got, we've got no minnows. Cody, what have we been catching fish on today? Uh, minnows, jigging minnows. minnows. Yep. Jigging minnows. Why, what's wrong? We don't have minnows, guys. We're out of minnows? We're out of minnows, yeah. See, they're still fishing, uh, but bait. they're using, he's using a blade bait, Brandon's using plastics, and we have not gotten a bite since. Actually, since Cody got that bigger fish, we have not gotten a bite uh, me specifically I've missed fish Brandon's missed a bunch of fish but guys if you're wanting to come down to the Fox River this bite the time you see this video the bite is probably gonna get better but it is extremely early a lot of these fish are just small males in this river system right now uh, the big females are not in here moving up to spawn with the warm weather coming it will be probably pretty soon but uh, it's just it's just not happening today and we do have to get going. Cody's got a bunch of stuff he's got to get done today. And uh, you know, it was still fun to just get out here, get on top of some fish. That was the main goal. We just wanted to break the ice and get out here, catch some open water walleyes and make things happen, which we definitely accomplished. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys still enjoyed that. Like we said, gonna start packing some stuff up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, we did get into some walleyes and Cody caught that one really nice one which is exciting to see hopefully the next time we get down here weather's going to be a little bit warmer we're going to get into some more fish hopefully some of those big females start to move up towards the dam and we get into some of them just wanted to touch base with you real quick about those new reels that we were using as well those are the pissy fun carbon x 2000 series and i'm going to be honest with you that's got to be hands down one of the best reels i've ever used i was excited to get out here and use it today and really didn't get into a ton of fish but just overall great experience with them and I'm, I'm excited to see this spring you know we're gonna get down here a lot more and uh, start using them a lot more break them in and man they worked excellent today so if you guys are interested in checking out some of the equipment that we're using we're gonna leave that down in the description below and you guys can also check out the pissy fun website where you can get really good deals on not only the reels themselves but you can use our code nbedits18 as we said earlier check it out guys um, highly suggested if you're gonna be loading up on stuff for spring walleye fishing well the reel to use so check them out again if you guys enjoyed make sure to give the video a big old fat thumbs up if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe as well and we're going to be back down here very soon so we'll see you guys on the next one tight lines from the